Now, knowing how to use the program is one aspect, but the other aspect is making sure your computer's up to par. Now, you can pretty much see from here, I have a pretty intensive computer. I mean, I have 16 gigs, and even then, with that, all that, it can still have some major issues if you're not maintaining and keeping it up the way it should be. So on this tutorial, I'm going to go over how to set up and maintain it, regularly your computer system for gaming, video editing, or just general usage. Now the most important little tool, essential one you need, is one called CC Cleaner. CC Cleaner is like this cleanup, except it does what it does not do. Uh, when you, when you get this in the description, I'm not going to go ahead and download it and do all that, it's already installed, there's no point. But it, the download for this will be in the description of the video. Now, you can analyze it, and what this does is it cleans out all the temporary files that your computer saves every time you run a program, every time you do something. Every time you, you do anything on your computer, it saves it so it can recall it, but it doesn't know when to delete that information, so it stays on there forever. And I have seen people's computers that will have up to 20 gigs of temporary files, and their computer runs extremely slow. And removing these files will increase the time that I think it will, it'll, it'll remove, it'll increase the system performance. So I'm going to run the cleaner, because I haven't done this in a while. It's going to go through, clean out all my temps, empty my recycle bin, everything. Alright, running on applications, sleep, okay, barely anything, so I'm going to run that. I'm going to go ahead and scan for registry errors. Registry is basically linkings to files that have been broken, programs that have been uninstalled, and issues that should not be there. I mean, it essentially breaks down everything it's scanning for. Missing paths and bureaus. Alright, another information. Uh, one moment. Let's see. Another way to ensure that your system is up to par is you go to the startup tab. And this basically breaks up every single application that comes on that will you turn on to your computer. Uh, in my situation, I don't need to adjust any of this because I have a solid state drive. So all of these load and my operating system comes on in under 5 seconds, no matter what. There is no pause, no lag. But if you're running off of older technology, such as, uh, what are they called? SATA, the normal SATA RPM ones, and the IDE, you need to optimize your startup. Now, based, everybody's going to have their own startup, so the best way to go is just to paste it, or comment it, or do research on each program, and most of the time, you only need two applications starting up when you're trying to computer, sometimes three. You need the drivers, the driver applications, and you need your antivirus, and your firewall. Everything else goes out the door. You don't need QuickTime starting up when you're trying to computer. You don't need Steam turning on when you're trying to computer. All you need are those three core applications, and you open all the other ones by yourself. You don't increase your system performance by God knows how much. So, after we go through Seek C Cleaner, we clean up all your temp files and whatnot, then we're going to head over to, let's see, Smart Defrag. This is another program that you can download off of the uh, description. This is a more efficient defragging program than the Windows one, and you can set it so it automatically defrags when you leave your computer. It'll stop or pause when you touch your computer again, and it'll resume when you leave again. And this one basically defrags it to where you don't have to do it for a very long time. So you analyze it, it'll basically break down and show you fragments, and you just highlight these and it'll tell you what everything is, the colors. Fragments are the files you never want on your computer. Fragments are created whenever you change, uninstall, or remove a file. A fragment is created. A fragment is basically a file that takes longer for your operating system to find because it has become out of sync with the rest of the file integrity. Um, so right now it's scanning through and analyzing my F and my G. Now if you have a solid state drive, you cannot defrag it. Your solid state drive uses flash memory, meaning it does not need it. It is already fully optimized. It will run like a beast. As long as you 
Keep in mind the technical requirements of how much you can output and input. Alright, so I'm not going to defrag just for the sake of time because this takes hours. I mean, you want to do that when you're about to turn off your computer. The next thing is even though you have CC Cleaner, you still want to go here Accessories, System Tools, Disk Cleanup. Put it on C, always C drive, whatever your operating system is stored on, and let it scan. Because there are some things that CC Cleaner just will not touch. Now sometimes it's the bigger it's built up more. Let me click right. You want to click clean system up. So it gets the memory dumps and the system errors that have been saved over time. I mean if you really need those then by all means keep them on there. Now I'm going to delete all everything. I selected everything down the list. Alright. Now the next thing you want to keep in mind is that when you're playing games and you're playing well, pretty much whenever you're doing anything intensive, you want to make sure you have a good antivirus, but also you want to make sure that you disable that antivirus or you put it in game mode when you're going to do something. Now I recommend it vast for the simple reason of convenience and I've never had an issue with it ever. It has killed every single virus that has ever tried to touch my computer. Now when you're playing a game, you put it on silent gaming mode, disable it, if you really are having issues with lag, you want to test see if it's causing it. Sometimes a vast will kill some games. I, I will not doubt that it will. Hey, I've seen it with uh, BF3 Beta, for instance. Okay. Um, the next one would be anti malware. I mean, in all honesty, you got to make sure your computer does not have anything running in the background. Because if you do, it is going to come and bite you in the ass. It always causes issues. So you want to make sure you have an anti-malware tool. The one I use is Malwarebytes. Malwarebytes is what IT companies use, and it's free. Just get the free edition, and do not get the one you have to pay for. So, here's Malwarebytes. Again, this is in the description. You want to perform a quick scan right here. And after you do that, you just hit scan, you walk away, give it 20 minutes, come back. It just depends on your hard drive size. Alright, so that is basically the optimizing side, making sure your computer is kept up to date and it, and it does not have viruses. The other aspect is your video drivers and audio drivers. Now, most video drivers are going to come from NVIDIA. And you can just simply go here, if you have a NVIDIA card, and go to Auto Detect. And it will find out what you're running. If you have an ATI card, you just type an ATI. And they have the same tool, well, it will auto detect. I don't have an ATI card, I have a NVIDIA card. So it was no point to showing you because it would say screw you. So that's detecting. The same thing for Intel. If you go to the Intel website and you have any kind of Intel gear, you can simply run this right here. Or you can type in the model number of your computer. And you can get the model number of the computer by going to run and, t and typing in DX, D I A G, and hitting yes. Now, if you don't have the run command, you right click here, you go to properties, you go to customize, and you check mark the box right. Let's see, I'll like move it right here where it says run command. Fly, okay, and it'll appear right here. And there's my system model number. So if I were to go to whoever, if I were to go to MSI's website, type in that system model number, it would tell me all the latest drivers, and I would download and put those on my computer, and from there I would know what to do. But it already says I already have the latest driver because I always keep up to date. I actually have the beta driver for BF3. Now I'll show you the Intel process. I mean, you just go through. I mean, if you want to be able to edit videos, play games, you have to keep your system up to date. That that's the agreement you sign when you bought a computer, basically. So most of the times when you have issues, it's because your driver is updated. You have conflicting software, and if you have issues, feel free to comment on the bottom, and I will help you find drivers or help you resolve your issue. Um, besides that, if most vi audio cards come from Realtek. or Sound Blaster. I mean there's a couple of third party ones and it just depends on what you're using. If you want to know what you have you just go to computer, my computer, manage, device manager, 
sound video on game controllers and there's mine right there I have NVIDIA high definition audio because I have a monitor that's hooked up that has a HDMI so I can play audio on my monitor or I can play it on my surround system which is Realtek which is the audio driver that I showed you right here um, and then the other one would be my webcam I mean, it, it, it essentially breaks down everything you have on your computer. And if you're going to update drivers, please don't ever do this. You only update, you only right click it and update like that if you have the files already on your computer. And it's, a custom, it's like a uh, manual install driver. Well, you have to do it. But if it's a corporate uh, company that makes it like NVIDIA or Realtek, just let their installation programs do it. Unless you're having a direct conflict when you try to install it. Besides that, leave any comments, let me know if you have issues, and I will feel free to help you when I find the time. Thank you for watching my videos.